A murder suspect is now in jail in connection with the shooting case from back in September. San Antonio police made the announcement on their Facebook page and 28-year-old Javon Hardaway is under arrest. That shooting happened back on September 8th on Westward Drive. That is where police found the deceased victim. Police were able to identify Hardaway as a suspect and a warrant for his arrest was issued. He was taken in by the San Antonio Police Department covert officers and the SWAT team. 432 now to the battle over migrants at the nation's southern border. Title 42 is that Trump era policy that cleared the way for expelling at least 2 million asylum seekers from the United States. As ABC's Morgan Norwood explains, the court says it should remain in law for now. This morning, President Biden's first reaction to the Supreme Court decision that keeps Title 42 in place until the court reconvenes next year to decide the policy's long-term future. In the meantime, we have to enforce it, but I think it's overdue. The pandemic-era policy allows border officials to expel asylum seekers on public health grounds. The policy was set to expire last week, but Republican-led states appealed to uphold it, worried that without Title 42, a flood of migrants will overwhelm the border. Homeland Security warning that 18,000 migrants could cross the border every day. In El Paso, migrants are sleeping on the streets and during the cold, some sleeping under wet blankets. If they continue to, to, to get in without being undetected, we're going to continue to have this, this population grow within our community. And so that is concerning. The city recently declared an emergency. Large tents are now being built to handle the influx. These satellite images taken just five days apart last week show the rapid construction of one housing facility designed to hold 1,000 migrants. The Biden administration saying it's also added thousands of personnel at the border. But critics on both sides of the political aisle acknowledge whatever eventually happens to Title 42 next year, the problem on the border won't be solved until Congress takes action to reform the immigration system. Back in El Paso, many migrants are ineligible for city shelters, and others have said no to any help, fearing it could lead to deportation. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York. This morning, Texas-based Southwest Airlines CEO Bob Jordan said he is truly sorry for the airline's failures over the holiday weekend that have lasted into this week. His apology follows thousands and thousands of canceled flights and what became a Christmas nightmare for passengers all across the U.S. Most major airlines canceled or delayed flights, but Southwest canceled more than 2,600 or more due to a system meltdown and staffing issues. The problems continue this morning with the airline canceling 62 percent of their flights for today. President Biden and lawmakers on Capitol Hill are promising to hold airlines accountable. The man accused of shooting and killing rapper Takeoff has another hearing in a Houston courtroom today. Lawyers for Patrick Clark are trying to get his million dollar bond lowered. Clark is accused of killing Takeoff on November 1st. Police say Takeoff and his uncle were attending a birthday party in Houston when gunfire erupted outside a bowling alley. The 28 year old artist was shot and later died. Investigators charged Clark after a month-long investigation. His bond was initially set at $2 million, and his lawyers argued that was excessive. They're now trying to reduce his bond even further.